Hi, it's Wednesday and it's time for a short video. Hope that you'll enjoy this this morning. I'm thinking, I got to thinking about commandments and the commandments that we are directed to, but specifically I began thinking about the commandments that come from Jesus. The Old Testament has a lot of commandments. We do have the Ten Commandments, but we also have many other dietary regulations and circumcision and all kinds of directives that God gives to his people as they're roaming through the wilderness, as they're on their way to the promised land. And even long after uh, they arrived in the promised land, they were still under many directives by God. But there are other commandments that we find too in the Bible and particularly the ones that were given by Jesus in the Gospels. And uh, numerous times it says that he spoke as one having authority. You know, I got to think, what is it that gives Jesus authority, a sense of authority when people looked at him and they listened to him and they realized that he spoke with authority? Was it his tone of voice? Was it his his expression? Was it his confidence or the assurance in which he spoke? Or was it his wisdom? It probably is all of the above. All we know is the Bible tells us that he spoke as someone with great authority. But Jesus gave numerous commandments in his three and a half years of ministry on this earth. He instructed people how to live. Around 50 different commandments that we find or commands that Jesus gives throughout the Gospels. Now, they're not officially commandments or anything like that, but they're either directives to the people that he's speaking to at the, in the moment, or they're also maybe and I'm thinking they're probably also commands that he's giving to all of us, those of us who have lived long after he left this earth. And here's a few, just a few of the 50 that we find. In, 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 I don't have time to talk about all of them, but the, the, one of the first ones that he gives is in Matthew chapter 4, where he says, repent. He says, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And so he's telling the people, he's commanding the people to repent, to recognize their sin and to realize that he has come to provide redemption for them from their sin. He also tells the disciples at the very beginning of his ministry, he says, follow me, uh, you know, drop your nets and follow me. Um, he, and, and, and so they did. And he says, he, Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. He also tells them, and this is probably the one commandment that is probably greater than any commandment, where he says, love your neighbor or love your enemies. He says, I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. And so Jesus tells us here to, uh, to that we should love even those that are unlovable, even those who are difficult to to that our own natural love isn't wouldn't be enough, but that Jesus divine, his agape love, is enough for us to reach out to them and to love them for who they are. He also says, tells us, commands us to judge not, that it's not up to us to judge other people. And um, he says, judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with that measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And I'm kind of using King James Version here, but nevertheless, he's telling us not to judge. And then finally, it says, uh, he says to go into the world and make disciples. Go, therefore, teach all nations, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. The Great Commission, the Great uh, a commandment that he gives to his disciples. The question when we look over all these com various commandments is, are we listening? Do we obey Jesus? Does he have authority in our lives as he speaks? Is it something that we, oh, that's a great idea, but then we just go on living the way we normally would live? Do his commandments shape us into being the disciples that he wants us to be? Out of the 50 commandments that Jesus gives, there is one that really stands out to me particularly. The Pharisees asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? Now, you know this, don't you? What is the greatest commandment? He said, there are actually two. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul, 
and to love your neighbor as yourself. Now that pretty much spells it out right there. If we can only love the rest, uh, if we can only love other people, the, the rest of the commandments are going to sort of fall into line. For example, remember those commandments I mentioned earlier? To repent, to follow me, to go into the world and make disciples. That's all about loving God. That's really what it boils down to. Remember those commandments uh, where it says to love your enemies, to love your neighbors, or to judge not? It's all about loving other people. So it all boils down to the two commandments that Jesus gave and that he talked about and he told to the Pharisees. May we listen to Jesus as he speaks to us, as he directs us, to listen that we will obey, that we will obey him. Amen. You have a great day.